English language learning, mastering everyday phrases, clean the oven. Hello everyone, and welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to dive into a very common household phrase, clean the oven. Understanding this phrase is not just about the words themselves, but also about the cultural and practical aspects of its use. Let's get started. Clean the oven is a straightforward phrase that means to remove dirt, grime, and leftovers from inside an oven. Ovens are used for baking or roasting food, and over time, they can accumulate grease, food particles, and other residues. This section will discuss the importance of this chore in maintaining kitchen hygiene and ensuring the efficiency and safety of the oven. Clean. This verb implies removing dirt or unwanted matter. In our context, it involves scrubbing, wiping, and using cleaning agents. The oven. This is a common kitchen appliance used for cooking. It's important to recognize different types of ovens, e.g., conventional, convection, gas, electric, as the cleaning method may vary. In this section, we'll explore how often people typically clean their ovens in different cultures and why it's an important part of household maintenance. We'll also touch on how this phrase is often used in day-to-day -day conversations, such as in domestic settings or in instructional contexts. Here, we'll provide practical steps and tips for cleaning an oven effectively. This includes the types of cleaning materials needed, safety precautions, and some eco-friendly cleaning methods. We'll address common mistakes non-native speakers might make when using this phrase. This includes confusing, clean the oven, with similar phrases, and the importance of context in understanding the intended meaning. We hope this video has given you a clearer understanding of the phrase, clean the oven, and its usage in everyday English. Remember, learning a language is not just about words, but also about understanding the practical and cultural nuances. Keep practicing, and see you in our next lesson.